I'm Rebecca Brandt, and today we're going to make a strawberry custard tart. The ingredients for this dish are pre-made pie crust, egg yolks, white sugar, cornstarch, milk, vanilla, butter, cream, strawberries, strawberry jelly, and a little touch I'm going to do with some red sprinkles. The first thing we need to do is pre-bake our pie crust. It doesn't matter what kind of pan you use. Today you're going to use a springform pan because that was the easiest one to find in my cupboard. But you can use a tart pan, a pie pan, a square pan, any kind of pan. When you buy these pre-made pie crusts, you need to put them on your counter for at least 15 minutes to come to room temp. And we're going to unroll it into our springform pan. Oh, I got a hole in it. <laughs> oh well, don't stretch your pie crust, just put it in because otherwise it'll retract and it'll be a big mess. I gotta fix my little hole. Peekaboo. There we go. Done. So press your edges along the top of your pan and get your corners involved. So we just push it down in the bottom of our pan and just make the edges stick to the sides of your pan. If you had a pie crust, I'd probably flute the edges, which is kind of fun. Well, you just kind of go pinch, pinch, pinch. But this is nice, this will be pretty. I have to pre-bake this, so I'm getting a piece of foil. I'm putting butter on it. This is melted. I'm gonna spread it around. Look how fast and easy that is, yay. And then face down on my pie crust. I do not want my pie crust to bubble up. I want it to be flat to hold my custard. Okay, and then with your little finger, Go into the corners. Onto that, put about a cup of beans. That's gonna be little pie crust weights. Now my oven is at 375 preheated. I'm gonna stick this in it for about 15 minutes. The next step is my little special touch, just to make this extra special for my Valentine. I'm taking the second pie crust and I'm gonna unroll it. I'm gonna make heart shaped cookies. With a knife, you can cut out little heart shapes and you all know how to do that. So you just go around for little hearts. Let's make some more. Maybe you have a little heart cookie cutter at home too. So you get the idea. For this recipe, you need five egg yolks. So I'm separating my eggs a little back and forth like that with the egg whites hitting one bowl and the yolks hitting the next. Oh my gosh. This is a freak of nature, check this out. I got a duple, oh my goodness, twins. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fun. Look at that. Now that hasn't happened to me in a heck of a long time. Wow, that's one happy chicken to have twins there. When you're in the kitchen, you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, back to normal. Now the egg whites you can use for omelets, meringues, whatever. It's time to take the beans off. So just pull up the corners. And now we're gonna cook this for another 15 to 20 minutes to get it to be a golden brown. So back in it goes. So I'm gonna make a quick egg wash for my little cookies. So just grab some of your whites and throw it in a bowl, stir it up real quick, and dust the top of your hearts. This is gonna make it glossy. Take your finger, smear it around, sprinkle the top with red sugar, and if you wanna make a really inexpensive homemade variety, check out my red velvet cake video. This is just quicker for me today. Now this goes into our 375 oven for 10 minutes. Now it's time to make the custard part of our strawberry custard tart. So I'm taking one and a half cups of milk and I'm gonna heat it in my microwave for two minutes to get it scalding hot. And now we're gonna put five egg yolks into our mixer. Now, this is pretty labor intensive, so a hand mixer or an electric mixer really helps this part. We're gonna add three quarter cup sugar. That's one half. And here's one quarter cup, so that's three quarters all together. Now you're gonna mix that for four minutes on high. So we're gonna add three tablespoons of cornstarch to our egg mixture. One, two, 
three, and mix that on low. So after your cornstarch is well mixed in, add your one and a half cups of scalding milk while it's on low. And now we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna cook it on the stove. So my stove's on medium. I'm gonna pour my mixture into a saucepan and stir it up. Now I'm gonna just use a wooden spoon and keep stirring until that starts to curdle. It needs to cook. This part takes about five minutes. And I can tell these are ready. I can see the edges are a little brown on there. Perfect. Our pie crust is lightly golden brown. It's ready. I am going to cut my strawberries while well, that's on low cooking. Just cut them in thirds right down the center. This is starting to froth up. I can feel it getting thick on the bottom. So I better stay here and pay attention. So what I'm trying to do is to keep it from scorching at the bottom of this pan. That's why you make sure at this point I'm going to turn it on low. I don't want any brown spots in this. There, can you see that? It's starting to cook. Yay, we got action, Jackson. It is running those bases. I think we're at home plate. Off goes the heat. Pour in half a teaspoon of vanilla. I add in one tablespoon of heavy cream and one tablespoon of butter. And whisk that up. So now we're pouring it into a sieve. So you just stir this up fast and it falls through. It's actually cooling on the way down too, which is what I want. Take the bottom off your sieve. There you go. If you want to skip this step and get a box of pudding, I'm not going to give you a ticket. Time to assemble. Just pop your tart out. Put the custard in. Wow, look at that. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Spread your custard around the bottom of your tart. I'm going to take a couple healthy tablespoons of my strawberry jelly. You can use anything red. I don't care what flavor it is, preserves or jelly, whatever you got on hand. I'm adding one tablespoon of very hot water because I'm gonna make a glaze for this. So let's arrange our strawberries. I like to put the middle cuts in first. All the way around. And add your glaze after you decorate it. It's going to help sweeten up the strawberries because they can be a little sour. And the crowning glory on top. Now let's add our cute little cookies to it. Mmm, it's delicious. Okay, it's time for my bite. Let's cut this. The challenge of this recipe is getting a bite of the strawberry, the pie crust, the custard, and the cookie. I got to add my cookie on top. How cute. Bombs away. That is to die for. And that homemade custard is amazing. It has just the amount of sweet to sweeten up those strawberries. It is delicious. Subscribe to my channel and let's keep cooking together. <laughs> mm. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>